Welcome back everybody to another free random games video and today we have three games that we are going to be playing that are free and I can't promise that they're going to be any good but there's only one way to find out and that is to play them so let's get right into it. First game of today's episode is going to be called A Craft of Mine. I've never seen this game before. I don't know what it is. It just started out like this. I don't know why, but it did. It did. There was, there was no title screen or anything, or else you guys would be seeing the title screen. But we're going to read this. Thomas Stone, one of the developers at Mojang, the famous enterprise responsibilities for the video game titles such as Minecraft, has disappeared two days ago. The police is currently investigating the case, although, by most of Mojang's employees' opinions, he's probably quiet, since he is known for talking, well, about his workplace. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I screwed up that. Anyways, Thomas Stone, the tripped goat, his username on social media in Minecraft, seems to have said such things such as, Minecraft is a bunch of ideas smashed together that forgot the shape they had to take. We are lying to our players about the limits of the game. Even if, and even if it was, if I was the main developer, I would have made the game they promised a better game. All we can do for now is send our support to Thomas's family and the Mojang Studios. Is it Mojang or Mojang? I don't know. You guys decide. Anyways, it's been a day since Uncle Thomas disappeared. He was a Mojang developer. He worked on Minecraft, no doubt, it's your favorite game. I haven't I haven't made a Minecraft video in probably a long ass time. <laughs> it's been a while. Uh, I'll probably bring it back. I don't know. You got you go to play Minecraft on your old computer. No, it's not very old. However, something weird happens. Whoa. Hey. Okay. Okay. All right. I see. Okay. Let's fucking. All right. I, this is actually pretty cool. It's just the background's kind of wrong. It's a little bit darker. Let's go. Is this just going to be Minecraft with an- Whoa! Oh my god. Is this it? I'm playing Minecraft right now. What? This is not it. All right, let's see. Is this a Minecraft horror game? Look at these little bookshelves we got here. We got little bookshelves. This is actually pretty cool. I'm actually liking liking it. Oh, please tell me we got sounds. That, that was better than the actual door sounds in Minecraft. I'm not going to actually lie. We got some books here. Oh, wow. We got... Oh, Mojang has a great job with the last update. I'll be honest. A lot of content for, expo for exploration has been added. But sometimes it feels like nobody on this... But it feels like nobody on this damn enterprise is actually aware of the game that we are making. It's Minecraft. Minecraft. Sure, everyone... Everyone likes it when you add better caves or better forests, but that's only half the name. When, when was the last time crafting had an update? Did it ever have one? Well, as the saying goes, if you want something done, do it yourself. Exactly. I did not mean to do that. Uh, I don't know how to exit this. Oh, thank you. Well, got a little book there. That's great. I like this game already. This actually might take up uh, a lot of the things. Okay, so uh, I can... No, I... Whoa, I could play Minecraft in a different game. Is this legal? <laughs> yeah, no, no, nah. I didn't know how to make a fucking... Uh, I didn't know how to make a lever. All right, let's go. We can go ahead and make a lever. If I get this wrong, uh, on God, I'm, I'm, I'm going to just... I'm 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 ending this episode if I if I get it wrong. Or does it want me to do it in a specific specific? All right, all right. Hang on. Oh, thank you for actually working. <laughs> Minecraft plays better than this. We all know that. Um, but I do like the aesthetic. I'm what I'm what I'm thinking is that either they built this in the well. I don't know how they would build this in Minecraft. This was made in Unreal Engine, so I'm just assuming they got all the textures from the game by itself. I don't know how to crouch. But we'll go ahead and just grab this stuff. I don't want to read anything. I developed an algorithm to design items directly from the input of the crafting table. Now, as long as the program creates a result, all recipes have an output. Finally, infinite possibilities. Uh, what they promised the game until... Uh, the game they had until they forgot what the game was. I will be testing the algorithm to see where the limits are, though. Thank you for adding though there. This is great. 
Uh, what am I making now? Am I make okay? So what am I what am I making though? Like, what what am I what am I making? Like, what what am I what, what? Okay, well we just figured out. Am I making a slab or something? Why can't I turn this way, bro? Dookie butter. Okay, I can I can't. All right. Well, I guess I, okay. What are we making? Is this a... I, for some reason, I feel like this is a Minecraft horror game. I, I have never played this game before. Uh, but I don't know what I'm making here. I guess what I'll do is I'll just not make anything right now. And we'll just go down to... The, uh, what? Oh, man. You added the fucking horror games of Minecraft. I swear to God. My headphones are all the way up. It does get really lonely in Minecraft world, doesn't it? I think there's too much potential of these crafting tables. If the items would go unnoticed. So I thought I'd go for entity creation. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm making a pickaxe. I thought I was making something else. Do I have to go back to the crafting table? Oh, there's going to be something there, is there? I'm scared. This is spooky. Spooky, scary skeleton. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that song has copyright, so I don't think I should sing it. But let's go to the crafting table and make me a pickaxe. We know how to, we all know how to make a Minecraft pickaxe. Everyone, there you go. We got the pickaxe. Attention to detail, by the way, it is, it's coal. So can I get rid of the pickaxe though? Like, oh, we need to make a torch. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I can probably go ahead and just, well, in real life, well, uh, nope. I think you need an iron pickaxe for that. It says uh, bring a light. Okay. So do we need to find the coal? I'm assuming we do. I just don't know where the coal was. I'm assuming it's... I don't know if it was over there. I, I I really don't know. Oh, I already have coal. Where'd the coal come from? That's how you do it. That That's literally how you do it. Do you want me to do it on the bottom? Why are you going to be so sp freaking specific, dude? You could do it anywhere in the game, in real life. Oh, man. It wants me to bring a light down here. If I see something, I'm going to... I, I knew I should have uh, did face cam. I have something for face cam in, the, in this... That startled me. That sound startled me. I can't run. Wait a minute. Oh god, I don't like this. I don't like this. Dude, I'm so tense. Oh, I got the parkour? What happens if I die? Uh, I don't want to find out! <laughs> I don't want to find out. If it attacks, run. Oh boy, oh boy. You love to see it when, uh... <laughs> what the fuck was that?! All right, I'm not doing this again. If you guys, if you guys want to see me play this game by itself, let me know. <laughs> Next game of today's episode is going to be called Peter's House. And I don't know who Peter is, and I don't know why I'm at his house, but... Let's go and play it. Oh, I'm clicking on the wrong thing. I'm clicking on Elgato. Is that Peter? Which one's Peter? Steve. Phone rings. <laughs> Left mouth. Okay. Hello. This is Steve from the Able Movers. How can I help you? Hi, Steve. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> this is Peter. I need your help with moving some boxes tonight. Sure, we definitely can uh, do that. Uh, help you with that. Can you give me a bit of information about the job? Yeah, I have a few boxes that I need moved. Need to move on my on my new house. Okay, it's not me, guys. It's it's the grammar. I'll be out tonight, so the door will be unlocked. All right, Peter. Who's Peter? Oh, Peter's the guy with the grin. Okay, I can come over there and I'll be the night and all right tonight and take care of it. Can you give me your address? Sure, my address is six nineteen Main Street. Great. I don't know anything about your voice. You sound pretty crazy. <laughs> I'll take care of everything. Is there anything else you need from us? No, that is all. Thank you very much, Steve. You're welcome. Peter, have a good night. You too. Thanks. No, I'm not going to lie to you. I watched Dave from the Cub Scouts. Or the Cube Scouts, if you will. Uh, I watched them play this. Uh, so, I uh, this one says it must go into the bedroom. And where is the thy bedroom at? Is this the bedroom? My name is Peter. This is a crib. Why am I playing? Why am I playing spooky games, bro? It is twelve in the freaking morning right now, or like, yeah, it's it's twelve in the morning. I have no idea 
Okay, there you go. There you go. I gotta keep moving boxes. Who says? Who says? This one goes in the living room. Perfect, perfect. Uh, I, I am on edge right now. Gotta keep moving boxes. Gotta keep moving boxes. This one says a maze. Go in the baby's room. Wait, there's a baby? This one says they must go in the kitchen. Where's the kitchen at, though? And who the hell... Oh, hell no! I've never... Okay, so I have watched it, but I've never seen that before. <laughs> no way, dude. All right, there you go. Oh, oh boy. Whew. I don't have my watch on or else I'll, I'll check my heartbeat, bro. <laughs> this is why I gotta freaking... I, I gotta get my... Okay, I, I gotta get my face cam back. What does that say? The dining room. The dining room right here, fool. All right, I gotta keep moving. That was great. I like that. I uh, got the, 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 the bedroom. The bedroom. The bed. The room. The bed. The room. Yeah, I'm just going on. One, two. All right, so this one's this one doesn't say. Uh, maybe I should open it. Okay. The Material of a Friend, Part 1. I never should have told my best friend about my wife. It was a moment of carelessness. A slip of the tongue. But, what did it matter? He was just another person in my life who didn't understand me. Who couldn't comprehend the power that I held. When he asked where she was, I casually replied that she was buried. He laughed it off, not realizing that I was dead serious. But, I knew I, could take, I couldn't take any chances. 18th of the February of 2023. The Betrayal of Friend Part 2. I excused myself to go to the bathroom. But instead, I went to the kitchen and found the sharp knife. It was easy enough to sneak up behind him and plunge it into, the ba into his back, bro. He let off a pathetic gasp before crumbling to the floor. I felt nothing as I watched him bleed out. He was just another obstacle that I had to remove. Another person who didn't belong in my world. Man, who are you? I hear, I hear, I hear something. I hear something. There's fucking okay. There, there is footsteps. I gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Uh, ah! Do I just keep moving boxes or like this one must go in the baby? Why does it must go? I don't want to move any more boxes. I want to get out of here, bro. You see that in a box, you run for your life. All right, you disappear from this. This. No, I don't want to open it. I already opened it. We don't need to be opening up things no more. It's fine. It's great. Okay, so there's a ring in here. The end of a marriage. I didn't think I was going to be reading a lot in, the, in, this, in this episode. I couldn't believe when she threatened me to leave me. After all I have done for her, she had the audacity to suggest that we separate because of a silly little dog. It's not like I did anything that bad. Sure, I killed it, okay, but it was barking too loudly, and it was really starting to piss me off. And it's not like I haven't killed small animals before. Pig pigeons, rats, what it's the difference. But she couldn't handle it at this time. She caught me in the act, holding the, uh, the dog's ear. Wait, hold, hold, holding the dog's ear in my hand like some sort of trophy. That's when she threatened to divorce me. Well, I mean, uh, who wouldn't? You're a, clearly a psychopath there. You feel good about yourself? You feel great? I couldn't leave her. I, c I couldn't let her leave me. I had to make her understand that I was in control. Now, whenever I took that ring, I'm reminded of how powerful I am. Bro's got a big head on his shoulders. Uh, so let's go ahead and just uh, throw this, throw, throw that right there. I think I'll just leave that here. I'm that bald guy. Remember, this one says it must go into the kitchen. Kitchen. I'm bitching in the kitchen. I'm... <laughs> Don't hold back. <laughs> All right. All right, I am very un I'm I'm unsettled now. I'm so scared. Like, are we gonna be bitching in the kitchen again? Let's go. Let's let let us go. Got to keep moving boxes. Uh, after I see, you know what? After I seen two boxes full of shit like that, I I'd be out of I'd be out of here. Like, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Wait, I don't. Oh, I forgot how to open up doors. There's no shower in this bathroom. Uh, don't question it. Just do your job. Just do your job. There's nothing I, I, I want more than just, just do my job. Whoa, holy crap. I don't know why I'm... Okay. All right, let's go. Just 
put it in here. Maybe the sh there, maybe there's a shower in one of these boxes. I don't know, but we'll, <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stay here to figure it out. Okay. All that work made me thirsty. Maybe I should uh, get a drink before I leave. Well, there's another box. I don't want to go get a drink before I leave. I'm scared. Wait, how do I? Oh, oh, it's time to go. Oh, oh, let's go. Fine. I mean, I, I, I left the boxes here. What's the outdoor? I forgot. This door is locked. The Snoop part one. I was sure I had to cover my tracks, but her sister was getting suspicious. One of them came to speak to me in person, sensing that something was not right. She kept praying and asking. She kept praying and asking too many questions. Prying. Sorry, I don't know why I, I said praying. She kept prying and asking too many questions. <laughs> So I had to take action. I couldn't risk her snooping around, so I had to act, think fast. I tried to convince her that my wife was away on a trip and wouldn't be back anytime soon, but she wasn't buying it. Snoop part two. She started getting cl uh, too close, asking too many questions. In the moment, in the moment of frustration, I grabbed a heavy object and struck her over the head with it. Her glasses flew off of her head and she crumbled to the floor. Groaning in pain, she lay there gasping for air, gasping, grasping her throat. I could feel her struggle beneath me as I squeezed the life out of her. It was a small victory. Bro, this guy, you feel great. You feel great about yourself hurting women and animals. I think I'll just, I think I'll, I'll, I'll leave this somewhere. Man, we gotta turn this full in. We gotta, okay. I think I'll just, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll leave that there. What about this one? Open it. Ah! Is it the face? It was only a matter of time before someone real, uh, realized that my uh, wife and her sister were missing. My wife, uh, my my wife's other sister, the one that I had spared, had grown suspicious and went to the police. I knew I had to act fast. I packed my bags and left to town, but I knew that it wasn't enough. The detectives would come looking for me, looking for me, asking questions that I, I couldn't answer. So I came up with a plan. I knew I couldn't just, I knew that I couldn't just disappear and hope for the best. I had to make it seem like I was the like I was a victim too, that I had vanished alongside with, my, alongside my wife and her sister. It was it was a risky move, but it was I was confident that it would work. Sorry, I I I am not reading today. I began to start. Uh, start I began by staging a break in at our home. I smashed a window and ransacked the place, making it look like someone had broken in and taken all of taken us all I left a few th items of clothing behind along with some personal touch personal touches to make it seem convincing then I disappeared however I however to ensure that no one gets too close to me I started learning how to spike drinks with drugs although I do not condone this behavior but it makes me <laughs> it makes me feel powerful you don't condone that fool you fool you fool. I think I'll just leave this here. Ah! What is that? Oh, man. I just gotta keep walking. Shit, the lights are out. I hope my phone better doesn't die. What the fuck? Oh my god. I'm trying to find the phone. <laughs> just give me the phone. <laughs> I'm so tense. Alright, I'm a G. I'm a G. Let's go. Your job was to just move the damn boxes. Not to open them. Oh, fool. What? All right. Why did that? I quietly jumped with that shot. That is all the games that I have for you guys today. If you guys liked the video, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe. I do free random games every once in a while. I don't do it all the time because sometimes they underperform and sometimes they don't underperform. But if you guys want to see more, let me know down in the comments below. And as always, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.